let us say we have a solution of salt sodium acetate so sodium acetate is dissolved in water we are interested to find pH of resulting solution concentration of the salt that is sodium acetate is given let us say this is C in solution salt will dissociate to give ions so concentration of acetate ion is also equals to C now if you see acetate ion is coming from B acid so it will hydrolyze the water that is acetate ion will react with water but the sodium ion that is coming from a strong base so it will not hydrolyze the water that is sodium ion will not react with water so let us write reaction for acetate ion with water it will form acetic acid and OH minus will be released so you see since OH minus is coming into the solution solution will be basic that is pH is greater than 7 let us find pH initially we have zero concentration of acetic acid and OH minus let us say X mole of acetate ion react with water so its concentration decreases by X concentration of acetic acid will increase by X and concentration of OH minus will also increase by x so final concentration will be 
for acetate ion C minus X for acetic acid X for hydroxide ion this is X now let us say equilibrium constant for this reaction is given that is KH so we can write KH is equals to X into X divided by C minus X that is X square by C minus X so from here we can solve for X we can also express the value of KH in terms of KA so value of KH can also be expressed in terms of Ka. So you see this is reverse of acidity constant that is 1 by Ka. and this reaction is dissociation of water now we can add these two reactions so we will have hydrolysis of acetate ion corresponding K is KW by KA so hydrolysis constant KH is equals to KW by KA. KW is ionic product of water. and K is acidity constant so we can write this expression K H is equals to K W by K A X square by C minus X now these hydrolysis are very low so we can assume X is very uh, small compared to C. So percentage hydrolysis is very uh, small so we can assume C minus X is approximately equal to C. Now from here we can solve for X. So X is equals to under root C into KW by KA and X is nothing but concentration of OH minus. So you see X is concentration of OH minus. So we can write now let us take log both side. So we will have log OH minus is equals to half log C into KW by KA now we can use property of log so we will have 1 by 2 log C plus log KW minus log KA we can also apply a negative sign both side 
so we will have minus log c minus log kw plus log ka so this is poh is equals to half minus log c minus log kw plus log ka if i am interested in ph then we know ph plus poh is equals to pkw so we can use this idea so poh is pkw minus ph now let us take ph this side so we will have ph is equals to pkw minus so ph becomes pkw minus half log c and this is pkw so pkw minus pkw by 2 this becomes pkw by 2 and this minus this minus becomes plus log c and this minus plus becomes minus log k a by 2 so we can write p h is equals to half p k w plus log c minus log k a So this is the expression for pH in case of B casein and a strong base salt and we have also used one assumption that is C minus X is equals to C. So you have to check this assumption. So whenever you are doing problem you have to check this assumption whether this assumption is right or not if this is right then we can apply this formula directly